definitely looking into that. Then we had the gunk. Look like a. Sorry. Uh, then we had the gunk. Look like a, 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 a third person action platformer. Uh, kind of got some Super Mario Sunshine vibes in the sense that your main character has this like suction thing on her arm that sucks up all this gunk that's covering up the game world, uh, but can utilize it to do different things with it. Beautiful graphics, beautiful art style, very, very large scope because your character seems to be shrunken down and the world seems to be big uh, around her. Uh, but yeah, I, I liked it. I love their, uh, <clears throat> you know, uh, 3D action platformers, and this just looks like a great one. So I was very into that. Also, then they showed Tetris Effect. You know, Nintendo capitalized with Tetris 99 on the Switch. Now they got a Tetris Effect connected coming to the Xbox uh, Series X. So that's for, you know, your puzzle fans and all that. And there was Stalker 2. Very quick teaser trailer. I don't know much about Stalker, but the, the, the teaser trailer did pique my interest as, as to, like, mm, this is something I might want to look into. Uh, then they had, you know, the DLC that I guess is going to be Series X exclusive or, or launch first on Series X for Destiny 2 and for the Outer Worlds um, and, uh, and you know, other things like that. But uh, really, those are the games that still have to be. I, I liked uh, the other game. Uh, I think it was from, I want to say it was Obsidian also. Grounded looks very interesting. Miniature characters shrunken down in the backyard. You got to fight against the bugs and the ants and all the critters and all that and try to survive and build up your little fort and all that. That looks real cool. Uh, what I did like that I, that I saw was Xbox Game Studios was all over this. They, they popped up every five minutes. It was a game from them. And Xbox is giving, uh, Microsoft is giving their, their studios the freedom, the creative freedom to do what they want. They're not saying, oh, you got to make this kind of game or that kind of game. And that has led to a lot of variety. Like when you look at this showcase, there was a lot of variety. There was first-person shooters. There was 3D action platformers. Uh, excuse me. Uh, there was horror survival. There were psychological thrillers. There were interactive dramas like Tell Me Why and uh, uh, As Dusk Falls, which I forgot to mention those two. Normally, I'm not that big of an interactive drama type of guy, but I did very much enjoy Detroit Become Human. And uh, Heavy Rain was also really good. So this looks like more good stuff. Tell Me Why looks super interesting. The graphics were just gorgeous. The soundtrack was amazing. And uh, uh, As Dusk Falls looks very interesting, especially the art style. Uh, so, you know, you had such variety. You had story-driven uh, uh, narratives. You had interactive dramas. You had uh, 3D action platformers. You had uh, team-based, squad-based games, which is kind of what Grounded looks like. You had first-person shooters. You had horror survival, psychological thrillers. Uh, the only thing I didn't really see, if I recall was fighting i don't think i saw anything fighting but you know that all the third party uh multiplayer uh, multi-platforms are coming to the series x anyways so that'll be that but yeah man i mean they just they had so much and i'm watching here i'm seeing so many so many uh you know just haters dude i i, I just i stopped even arguing i'm gonna get some on this on this video too there's gonna be some people in the comments are you kidding PlayStation did this, da, 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 da. and it's because it has a playstation logo that's the only reason you gave a shit because if let it truth be told if the last of us was not a playstation exclusive but a microsoft exclusive you wouldn't give a fuck <laughs> really you wouldn't give a fuck but anyways uh, I really enjoyed it man the fact that all these fucking amazing games a lot of them are coming out on xbox one as well and they'll feature smart delivery to upgrade to the Xbox Series X version whenever the Xbox Series X launches. And also all these games, especially their first party, uh, the, the, the ones that are like legitimate. Well, they're, they're all first party, but okay. Basically, all these games, if I'm not mistaken from what the presentation said, are all going to be available on Game Pass day one. So my $15.99 subscription a month gets me access to all these games immediately. So you can't fucking lose, dude. You cannot fucking lose. Uh, now, like I said, I was waiting to see this event versus the PlayStation event. Um, and, and just to see what they're coming to the table with to see which system I was going to get at launch. I'm going to get both of them eventually. I'm going to get a PS5. It's inevitable. Uh, but I'm not going to get it at launch. I've decided Series X all the way uh, from what I've seen. The third party showcase they had a couple, two months ago where I saw such freaking great uh, looking games like... Um, Second, uh, what was it? Second Extinction, if I'm not mistaken, the dinosaur one, the dinosaur first person shooter. Second Inst Extinction, where I saw Bright Memory Infinite, where I saw Chorus, where I saw, um, what was the other one? Uh, Scorn. That one looks kind of weird, but uh, it, it did stick out. I saw all these third party games there, bro, and then I see all these first party gems like Halo Infinite, State of Decay 3, Forza, Fable, uh, Gunk, Grounded. Uh, man, uh, what else was there? Uh, the medium, if I didn't say that already, 
a Crossfire X looked awesome. Avowed, avowed, and then Hellblade 2. Oh man, that's it. With Xbox Live and the benefit of Game Pass, uh, I'm sorry, dude. It's, it's Series X all day, uh, and I think they're the ones in charge right now. Of course, perception will 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 lead you to believe otherwise. Because, like I said, PlayStation is that that cool brand right now that even if they're losing, their fan base refuses to let them lose, and will always paint the picture like nothing the opposition does is phasing Sony. Like, they look at the Nintendo Switch, and they're like, oh, the Nintendo Switch isn't shit to Sony yet, but the Nintendo Switch has been outselling the PlayStation 4 for the better part of over a year now. That doesn't matter to them, but if PlayStation's outselling the Switch, then they then they care. You know, so it's like, I, the perception would be that Sony, Sony wins, Sony always wins, whatever. The Series X has a better proposition right now, gaming-wise, as I look at it, man. And there were far more release dates. I didn't mention any because I didn't, again, I'm on my break uh, at work, but uh, if you watch the presentation, there were a lot more release dates for the Series X event than there was for the PlayStation one. Uh, so, you know, you, you know when things are coming out, you have a lot more to play at launch, everything's available on Game Pass, and, uh, dude, and the games were fucking fire, so, I mean, y'all can keep saying, oh, they lost, they dropped the ball, this and that, all y'all want to, you're blue in the face. It's like I tell fucking atheists, you can keep fucking saying that God doesn't exist, God doesn't exist. You're saying he doesn't exist doesn't change the reality he does. You can say you don't believe in gravity, but when your ass jump off that building, you go splat. So you could keep saying that they fail to your blue in the face. The fact is, Series X had an amazing show, and the games are fired, man. So you good, good luck with that denial. It's a hell of a drug, man. But anyways, God bless y'all. Stay gaming. Peace.